Hi, I'm Sayaka and this is... Ah, I'm Sheila, nice to meet you. <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about Cuba. Oh yes, well, you already know, I am from Cuba. Mm -hmm. uh, Cuba is a small island in America. Mm. The so continent, cool. not the country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, between North America and South America. Yes, it's in Central America, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of small island. We are around 11 million people. And it's in the Caribbean Sea. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, so um, what language do they speak? Is it Spanish? Yes, it's, oh. it, it is a Spanish. Hola! <laughs> oh, hola! Oh, you, can, you know some Spanish too. <laughs> Un poco. Oh, it's a guy. So yes, uh, we speak Spanish because mm -hmm. actually we were colonized by uh, Spain. Mm -hmm. So yeah, many countries in uh, America uh, speak um, uh, Spanish. So which is uh, Español. Español. <laughs> yes, and. Um, Actually, there is a curious uh, thing about uh, Cuba and Spain mm -hmm. because uh, in the history books we we can learn from there that Columbus uh, discovered America in 1492, but uh, actually the land where Columbus put uh, put it, uh, his foot were was Cuba. Oh, the <laughs> local people like before Columbus came to Cuba, who lives there? Oh, yes. Uh, our native people were the aborigines. Oh. Uh, yes, just a few of them. They were um, doing mainly activities such as harvest or fishing, hunting, and some kind of agriculture and manufacture. But when, when Spain colonized Cuba, uh, they basically killed all the aborigines there. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, we uh, don't have right now um, aborigines communities. Mm -hmm. It's uh, different from other countries in Latin America, for example, in Brazil, in the Amazonas, or um, there's still uh, mm -hmm. large communities of aborigines, but that's not the case in Cuba because uh, <laughs> Yes, the mm. Spanish people, they killed them basically. And after that, they brought uh, slaves from mm -hmm. Africa. And for that reason, we are like this. <laughs> we are like a mix, a combination, um, mainly from African people and Spanish people. So they say that we are mestizos mm. or mulatos. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's move on to my favorite topic, foods. <laughs> Which, oh, of foods. course. I think everyone wants to know about yeah. food from different countries. Yeah. So um, let's say that in we have some difference, of mm -hmm. course, but there is one thing that is basically the same, that we eat a lot of rice. Ooh. A lot of rice, yes. Um, I, For me, mm -hmm. I... I, I we eat more rice than Japanese people. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> because, yes, um, for example, we don't eat rice in the morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, for breakfast, we eat bread and we drink milk and so mm -hmm. on. But for lunch and dinner, we have to eat rice. But it's not a small portion. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a big amount <laughs> in our plate. <laughs> of course, we also... Um, eat uh, salads mm -hmm. and meat, uh, basically pork and chicken. Mm -hmm. And we also like uh, bananas, fried mm -hmm. bananas and mm -hmm. potatoes. Yes. <laughs> and also beans too. Do you eat beans? Oh, yes. We eat beans when, for example, we, am, we are eating um, white rice. Mm -hmm. Normally, we also put some beans, mm -hmm. but it's like a bean soup. Mm -hmm. We have different kind of beans, uh, black, red, mm -hmm. white, but we prefer the black ones. Mm -hmm. And they are not sweet. <laughs> it's important to say that. They are not sweet. The Japanese because, um, beans, yeah. Yes, when I came here, I tried to cook uh, rice with beans, mm -hmm. which is a, a dish in Cuba. 
And I didn't check the beans first. I just saw the black beans. I, I cooked it all. <laughs> And it was kind of sweet. I was so disappointed. <laughs> you must be surprised when you ate that. Extremely surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. like, do you have like parties when you eat all those dishes? We have a specific days when we eat uh, some kind of food. For example, uh, roasted pork. We across uh, the entire port, mm -hmm, okay. mainly at the end of the year, um, December 31st. And we prepare this kind of food since uh, maybe after lunch, all the family and friends gathered. And for example, for the roasted pork, it takes around four hours or more to prepare that. Mm -hmm. But for us, the party is not only the moment when we are eating mm -hmm. or talking with the family. It's since the beginning, when we are preparing the food. So it's a very long party, like mm. all day, preparing the food mm -hmm. and playing and talking. And other one, it's uh, the caldosa, mm -hmm. um, which, yes, is a, uh, we prepared caldosa during a national party, mm -hmm. uh, which is um, CDR, <laughs> which means it's a kind of, uh, uh, with neighbor associations. Mm -hmm. So on that day, all the neighbors from a building or an area, they are going and prepare this kind of dish. The caldosa is, I, I will say that it's similar to kare, but it's oh. not kare. <laughs> oh, okay. Something like this. Uh -huh. mm. now, could you tell me some more about the famous things in Cuba? like? Um, songs and famous places. Ah, famous things in mm -hmm. Cuba. Um, coffee, mm -hmm. tobacco, which is Cuban cigars. Um, what else? Uh, salsa. Mm -hmm. um, salsa is a kind of uh, dance. And the beaches are also really famous. Of course, we are an island, so we have a lot of beaches. They are beautiful with very white sand and really fine sand mm. and it's 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 amazing i really miss uh the sea in my country because i lived uh, maybe around 200 or 300 meters from the shoreline mm. <laughs> yes and also um if you are going to visit cuba i recommend you um, Going, of course, to Havana, which mm -hmm. is the capital. Yeah. It's a traditional city and very eclectic. Mm -hmm. uh, in, if we are talking not only about architecture, but on, also about uh, people and the culture inside of Havana, it's really eclectic and amazing, beautiful. Kind of in some areas, very well conserved. The, the buildings from the Spanish era. Ooh. And yes, and also in Havana, you can kind of notice uh, culture, the culture from maybe the 50s or the 60s, because there are a lot of classic cars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So when you're going to Havana, of course, you are going to find some uh, modern cars, Ooh. but mm -hmm. maybe 60 or 70 percent. They are classic cars from the 50s or some um, Russian cars like Ladas or um, really? from <laughs> Germany. Yes, <laughs> they are all cars, but they are very well conserved. Oh, <laughs> and also, mm -hmm. yes, so probably um, another city is Santiago de Cuba. It's mm -hmm. also a traditional city, mm -hmm. but you can find that it's kind of different from Havana. It's more on the eastern part mm -hmm. and it's more influenced by uh, other countries in Latin America mm -hmm. and also go to Baradero which is in okay. Matanzas yes they say that the best beaches are there <laughs> so oh, <okay>. please <laughs> okay. um, yeah and another area is Pinar del Rio mm -hmm. which is famous because of the tobacco farms Ooh. and there yes it's a they have a lot of beautiful nature 
and very welcome serve and you can participate in this kind of activities they show you how how they make the oh, okay. tapacos the cuban cigars it's very interesting too wow <laughs> so like all the food and the places you told me like it made me really want to go to cuba oh okay of course you can go to cuba so we're gonna have to end this video today so this video video was made by the collaboration of bsp and um oisa oisa yeah and we're gonna have the different video saying about what we do in the bsp and oisa so please check out the videos too yeah. yes please do it <laughs> <laughs> thank for thank you for your the telling me about all the stories in cuba oh thank you for your interest <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye.